And now to cap off the show, we're going to be talking about the newest film from the one and only A24. And it's called Pearl. Um, and now I know like a lot of people know this film as like a prequel film to the film X. Darius, I, I don't think you got to see the film X, and I don't think I did either. But basically the storyline for just Pearl alone, this film alone, uh, basically a young psychotic farm woman uh, goes to drastic lengths to leave her family farm and become famous. Um, now, the biggest thing about that, yeah, that stood out to this movie was how it managed to blend old and new. You know what I mean? There's this sort of old nostalgic feel and aesthetic that this film mm-hmm. has. You know, it's presented in Technicolor and it shows. And there's and the musical score feels like that that you would hear from like an older, like, you know, golden age of Hollywood film, like from the 40s and the 50s. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot of modern day horror in this film. Again, the blood and gore is very much there. You know, there's a psychotic, murderous central character, which you didn't really see much of until really Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. I mean, I'm sure you had a couple examples here and there, but this wasn't really common during that time that this movie seems to allude to with its um, style. And there's just something that's just very disturbing, unnerving, and really chilling about this film again in a way that you wouldn't feel as much with older films from the 40s 50s and some 60s films yeah for, for sure like this was a movie that was unexpected for me uh you know and just coming out of it you know i told you just immediately like this felt disturbing this felt you know unnerving and you know um just like the tension was there you got to feel it you got to get a sense of the main character and what she was going through and 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 as well as a bit of her psyche as well and just uh you know she may not be all there and up there in the head but (laughs) very much so um but but overall i i really did like this movie i did feel as if certain points felt a bit dragged out just a bit too much especially in like the some of the beginning middle like it did lose me a bit i think it lost a bit of momentum at least just for me um but then there was a certain moment that was just one shot that drew me heavily back in and then just took off from there um and that was a great scene in itself. So I think it definitely had its uh, really solid moments as far as the main character, what she's going through, and even the surrounding aspects. And as much as and it, it felt isolated as well, and I did like that, and I think it added to that um, disturbingness and that unnervingness of the movie and what they're in the in the story they were trying to tell. And I thoroughly enjoyed the the fact of that I, that isolated feeling, um, and that it is just. Mm it is literally the central family and not straying too much away from other aspects of, let's say the world, the town, whatever, but it is still their story in this person's story. And I, I very much did appreciate that because I know some films, they can deviate a bit too much into like a subplot or an, another area and try to expand upon that. But no, this went from we're going to deviate a bit, but go right back into it. And I really did like it. So, yeah. Yeah. And again, it's funny that you mentioned like, you know, it's the, like isolation and everything like that because like we lived through the you know COVID-19 pandemic you know very early on like you know everyone's like really isolated and again it just goes to show exactly what isolation can do to you because again like during the course of this film this film takes place in 1918 they were alluding to like you know a virus of some kind if I had to guess maybe it was probably like the Spanish flu Mm -hmm. um but you know again it just goes to show like what happens when you don't have like as many well-developed human uh, sympathies and empathies and relationships as you should um, because again you know look at what happened with this character and everything that she was dealing with and the impact that it had it had on her relationships um, but even that just just more than anything too you know this character study wouldn't be nearly as effective if it wasn't for Mia Goth yep who was the actress that played her Oof. oh my god she was absolutely phenomenal she is with like not to say that this movie doesn't have anything go or else going for it. This movie, in my opinion, has a lot going for it. But she anchors the film. She is terrifying. She's terrifying, yeah. but at the same time, I was always fascinated by her. You know, I couldn't help but just look straight at her. I never wanted to look away. But I just always wanted to see like what she was gonna do next. Yep, absolutely. She was definitely easily one of the best parts. And again, it's his her character, but like, and and again. 
ah, there's a certain moment, there's a certain scene that is long, but it is so impactful and meaty in what she is saying and everything that I was just fully engaged to the point where I was just like, I don't even know how this movie is going to end. And even when it did end, I was like, Jesus! Like, like I... I, I yep. <laughs> This movie left me speechless, to be honest. It really did. It definitely had a lot, a lot of great moments. You really got to understand the psyche of her character and just, you know, and as you said, how isolation can affect people to almost to the extreme sometimes. But I don't think it's just that isolationism, but I think it's also a certain insecurity she has within herself and other things within herself that kind of eventually developed into a certain persona that was so terrifying that it even was established or at least mentioned early on and then it comes back full circle in the end and I find that fascinating um but yeah overall this movie I'd highly recommend people to go see this in the theater as well watch it uh really like be immersed in this because this was this felt like an immersive experience as well it may not be your star wars or your um you know batman whatever but it still felt immersive in a sense of just following this character's journey and following the psychological development of her mind and how it starts to break away break apart so yeah uh, one thing I will say, um, don't take your girlfriend. <laughs> do not do not take your girlfriend, your wife, your whatever to see this movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I know Darius, you and I were joking, like, you know, oh, thank God we're single. And uh, we're only mostly kidding. When we're just kidding. We, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mostly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> in, regards to, in regards to this film. Uh, but uh, no, seriously, again, this movie, you know, it's definitely – as much as like I feel like 2022 overall so far has been like a lackluster year for movies because I feel like there haven't been like as many films are like oh like you know that just stand out that you just really just want to remember and you can't forget even if you tried this movie gives me hope at least for the rest of the year and I feel like with this film you know the horror movie like Halloween season has officially kicked off you know what I mean because there's just like so many scary and even just like chilling moments throughout this film mm-hmm. at you know that never feel gimmicky that always feel well done yeah so props to everyone props to filmmaker ty west for putting this together because this just really was it was a great time it was a great time and it's something that i'm gonna be thinking about for a, a while after and i hope that this gets more attention i'm not sure that it will but i i would like to see this film get like attention uh, a lot of attention mm-hmm. yep same here it was it was a really good experience it was a solid movie really enjoyed it all in all, what did you all think of the movie Pearl? Did you actually see the movie? You know, did you see the movie X? Leave your thoughts wherever it is that you can on either of those films. And if you want more reviews like this one, again, as always, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, hit the bell to get all notifications, whether you're on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. 